I'm gonna wish the good luck to everyone who's gonna come here on stage to present their startup. So say hello to all our new juries and um, our first startup for this block is called Vitergia. And they're a software development analytics, uh, but they will explain that better. Please, round of applause. So, hello, good morning. Well, I hope all of you here are looking for the next unicorn. So let's start talking about unicorns and what's behind that. So maybe more of you already know all these people in the, in the chart there. It's like, I will only say one number, quarter trillion dollars on investment there. So what's behind that? Well, actually, if you look deep inside, one hand, almost all of them are depending on open source technologies. I'm not going to bother you about what's open source indeed, but actually the best part here is the technology that are using is being developed by communities, software development communities. So you should take aware of that. About what's a community inside? A community is a group of companies and people working together providing technology to the market. Uh, so software development communities matters. This thing nowadays, well, I will say clearly, most of the IT companies nowadays are not taking well, very well care about the communities their business depend on. Actually, most of them already doesn't know, don't know what, what's the technology that they pay on, who is being made by. They, okay, they use the technology, it's good for their business, but they don't take care about that. But things are changing, and nowadays, more and more you are seeing things like, for example, let's meet Don Neri, that is a software development community manager, or developer advocate, or positions like that. And her responsibilities are very clear. She has to take care of community health, to engage in new co developers to the technology, also the productivity of the technology and all the, the community and also the visibility of the community. Because their company, his, her company is working on a, on a product that depends on a community that is developing the technology for them. So, well, if you have a healthy, productive, and very well-known community, you are going to have the best technology in the market for sure. So, for doing that, he needs information. But she's in a technology company, so he can do it very well. Go to the data sources that are out there and re retrieve information. Okay, there are a lot and very different. So, but the end, she needs help. So she, go to the, she goes to the market, and okay, there are some companies doing things there. Black Duck, some consultancy companies, and us, Vitergia. We are there too. So, okay, Black, Black Duck only covers one part of the software development. Garner is still not there for daily reports, and we are there. But you were wondering how she met us. Actually, since we have created the company three years ago, we have gone worldwide evangelizing what we are doing with metrics of software development, how we can be do, how can it be done on the business we have. So she go to our website, contact us, go for one of our solutions. Um, okay, she can has the data and the reports she wants, and she has the inf she has the information about what's behind the, the community, the companies, what they are performing, and now she's a happy customer. Well, no, actually, this is a true story or several true stories. Those are our customers. We already have customers, and very well-known companies like Red Hat, for example. So happy customers, doubling incomes per year, and going to the next step that is providing this report not only to development companies, but other companies that make, need to take decisions based on data. That's us. So you are more than welcome to our nest. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you, well done. Well, cloud storaging is there, and is there to stay, but what about the privacy? Well, our next startup has created a device that will encrypt your files and create some of the privacy. Please welcome our next startup, Slim Cloud. Hi. Today, uh Today, all our data are handled in digital form. And our hardware devices break, get stolen, or we lose them. Have you ever been in this situation? It's terrible. All your business data loss, clients, providers, plans, so hard. But few apply a correct backup policy. For this reason, we love the cloud, because it ensures our information will be intact. But we also fear the cloud because all our things are in others' hands, and this forever. If they are personal pictures, it can be shameful, but if they are professional data, it can be much worse. 
Some companies are obliged by law to safety store their information for a long period of time. But existing solutions are expensive and complex for SMBs. So finally, they do nothing and they pay the price. Up to 87% of them suffer data breach, when implies data loss is so expensive that lead to 72% of businesses to shut down in just two years. To solve this problem, we create a Smith, a plug and play solution targeted and priced for SMBs. Smith, connect to your LAN, appears on the user side as a local unit, and everything to put here will be automatically protected and stored where you need. That's all. Smith simply makes every cloud your own private cloud. The European Smith potential market is $1.65 billion, but it's a market with high growth potential because the cloud storage market is growing fast and also that the privacy loss. We compete with encryption gateways and encryption software, but Smith combines the best of two worlds, the robust encryption of the encryption uh, gateways and the easy setup of the encryption software. Our business model, device purchase plus annual subscription, and we plan to enter the European market through agreements with hardware manufacturers and these distribution channels. We are experts in information security and work with advisors with business backgrounds. Smith has been always a highly valued product and we receive public funds and support for product development. Now we are looking for 1 million euros in funding and partners to enter the market. Hardware manufacturers, distributors, resellers, integrators. And remember, SMBs need to enjoy cloud stories without risk. And Smith is an extremely user-friendly product that complies the strictest international data protection and privacy laws. If you want to join us to make it possible, we are waiting for you. My name is Valle Fernandez, CEO of Smith. Thank you very much. Thank you. <laughs> Cheers. Well done. All right, so if there is already a bad communication between humans, imagine a bad communication between humans and electronics. So what happens is that our next startup has found the great solution for that matter. Please welcome our next startup, P-Tech. Hello everybody, I'm Francisco Ortega, CEO of PyTech. Um, uh, this is the problem that we have today. Uh, the interaction between machine and human. Uh, the technologies can be unusable, inappropriate, and comfortable in a great variety of cases. Uh, for example, we, when we had uh, our, uh, the hands dirty, or when you need your eyes for another device. Uh, the solution for is, is the development of a multi-sensor which will be able to capture uh, harm, hands and finger gestures. Uh, I am sure that everybody is thinking uh, something like this. Uh, it's always you right because we do what you can control slide like I am doing right now, uh, written uh, in the air with your fingers or control application and games uh, with your gestures. Uh, in the uh, home automation fields, is you can control blinds or uh, sweet light or climate etc. And uh, this is the estimation of revenue in the next years. In, the, in 2018, uh, we have uh, uh, 31 billion of, uh, <coughs> of revenues. Uh, and this is the estimation of sales in 2019 that will be more than 155 million of units sold. And Jibo has all this capability, like high rating micro gesture capsules. Uh, whereas Mio has two, portable and media control, and Kinet, just uh, non, none of them. This is our technology. We have all these sensors. It's robust and comfortable. And which is the, this is the, uh, our business model. Direct sale for, of the device, AP for developers, and just to send some technology for third parties and bait data. This is our margin profit estimation, 62%. Uh, our partners and company that helped us in our triad. 
we are going to the market uh, with crowdfunder, uh, crowdfunding, and then with uh, selling device through distributors. Uh, we have a MVP of prototype, and first device will be launched uh, to the market shortly. This is our team, uh, all these components, uh, physics and electronic engineer, design and group of programmer. And what are we searching? We are looking for a technological partners, and and we are uh, looking for investors for product development, manufacture, and distribution. Thanks for your attention. And nothing. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. That was that was the nice movement. The heel slide. Get up. Well, our next startup is going to present themselves. So please, I would like to welcome Brain Maniac. Hello, good morning, everybody. Okay. Okay, let's start. Hello, Mike, how are you doing? Hi, fine, you? Fine, I was thinking about changing my cell phone and you're a tech guy. Which one do you, did you recommend me? Well, I've tried a few of them and I highly recommend you this one. I've seen this one. I have seen it also on television. What do you think? It's all over the places, but I've read on some blogs and Twitter that it's not a good option because the service is awful. Okay, thanks for the advice. Bye. Okay, conversation like this takes place every day, right? Mass media doesn't work as it used to. Today, conversation takes place in blogs and social channels. People engage with those they follow and trust. Influencers have that power to reach and engage effectively. And they are here to stay. And they influence consumer behavior. So how can brands persuade influencers to work with them? Let me welcome you to the new influencer economy. I am Luis, CEO of Brandmanic. We boost the power of the social influencers by fully automating the process to create, scale, and measure influencer campaigns. Well, let me try to explain one experience with one of our clients. Miguel had to uh, develop a campaign with uh, the smart for a new car for Mercedes. Uh, we identified and uh, selected 30 influencers uh, to experience with this new car. The key uh, issue for the, for the brand was uh, trying to, uh, to get the internet uh, audience. Okay? We had uh, great uh, results. Uh, we had over than 10 times more engagement uh, than uh, traditional uh, campaigns. Right, so you know that the market is huge, it's growing by 50% year on year. We focus on LATAM and major European countries where the opportunity for the next three years is one, one, one billion. Um, I just, uh, read, we are market leaders in Spain. I just returned from Mexico last Sunday where we have signed deals with six partners. And this is not an idea. We got real clients, corporations, and made digital agencies, and strong and solid sponsors. Let me tell you something. We launched end of last year. This year, we've got 300K, great momentum, 1 million in the pipeline. We've got a team with passion and talent, with a solid experience, with uh, startups. We've got the right price, with the right product. We are getting a tremendous momentum. The market is ready, and the product is solid. So we are asking you for a million to grow faster since there is a clear competitor in this niche. So the product, the price, the place, the team, the passion. Thanks for your time. We hope to see you in the final. Have a great day. Thank you. Great, thank you. Well done. You see, for the pitch, you always need to go that extra mile and add something and a bit of spice. Well, our next startup is an encryption application for audio, video, and instant messages in every kind of devices. Please welcome our next startup, Ange Media. Hi, thank you. 
So, well, I'm Gerard Vidal, CEO of Enig Media, and that's our company. Uh, let me introduce you about how important is the security. So, this guy here is Robert Fortune. Maybe you don't know, but in, in England, he's a very respectable guy. There are several plants that have his name. He's an explorer, he's a scientific. But if you're in China, this guy is a thief. China has the monopoly of the tea in the beginning of the 18th century. This guy explored China, looks like a Chinese, go inside the, the manufacturing of, tree, of the tea, or into the fabric, and then learn how to, how to, how to manage the tea, how to, how to dry the tea, how to store the tea, how to plant the tea, and how to grow the tea. China lost his monopoly in less than a decade. India was the first uh, country to export tea to the British Empire. So there's a lot of money if you don't take care of your communications. And this is not an old story. We, can see, we, we see the same in nowadays, for example, with the Snowden case, or we can say, for example, Addison, Ashley Madison hack. Maybe you know the people is paying $15, $15 to get inside the website, but how it works? the money about you, your wife doesn't know that you are flirting with another guy. That's a lot of money, okay? More than $10 for a month. You have to be aware about how much it costs. And we also have another example. For example, there is a spionage, banking espionage. The, we, we see, for example, fines of 300 million, 100 million. This is a typical fine for industrial espionage in high corporations. In order to solve this problem, this tremendous amount of money, we have developed a secure communication platform. We have our own patented algorithm for encryption. We are 20 times faster than current standards, and we achieve savings of the 95% in battery lifetime, and also we can double the bandwidth when making a video conferencing. So at the, beginning, at the very beginning, we have done this platform for large corporations. Why? Because we need the brand. What we want is to get good references to make the company grow. But this is not the big market. Uh, our, our differential platform has a thing that it makes uh, completely different from the rest, which is the guest mode. With the guest mode, we can invite people outside the platform. So we are pointing now to the IoT market, which is something like 1.3 trillion money. In order to do that, we have referenced by Garner, we have been certified by the intelligence agencies, etc., and we have a team at this moment of 37 people. And we also have advisors, so it's Whitfield Diffie, which is the father of the modern cryptography. And I'm here to ask you curriculums. We need more people. We are planning to develop and launch a new technology and make it global. Thank you. Great, right on time. Just one tip, storytelling is great for pitching. Well done. Well, we're going to continue with our next startup, yeah? So, how many times uh, you were installing some web application and you had to go into the help side and you go to the help side and then you go to the website because you need something and you're changing all the time. It's a waste of time and for sure not very efficient. So, our next startup has brought us a solution. Please, welcome Helpier. So, hello, my name is Hugo Magalhães, and I'm the founder of Helpier. So, what Helpier does is uh, the best answer for this question. So, many of us, I, I believe all of us, got lost on a, on a, a web page at some time, and usually the user, when he gets lost, has the different ways of trying to uh, solve that problem, like going after FAQ, trying to, to see if it solves this problem, getting to the support line, uh, by sending an, an email or contacting di di directly by phone or just exiting the website. And this costs a lot uh, for a web company because there's a lot of money building the, the, the FAQs, the customer support. Just to give you an example, Groupon has close to uh, 1,200 agents just pushing 30,000 tickets per day. That's a lot of money. So what Helper does is that allows website uh, owners to, uh, to easily install a widget. And as soon as it's installed, that little button appears at, on the top. You can click it, click New Help, click Record button. And as soon as the Record button is clicked, all the website becomes like a canvas for Helper. 
and he actually can select the elements where he wants to create a tutorial and attach to it a specific message. And he can, can go this step by step, 20 steps, whatever he wants. As soon as he saves it, it's available for their users instantly in 30 seconds. Uh, the users see the same, the similar thing. You, you will click on new help button, click on the tutorial that you want to see, runs it, and as soon as you run it, Helper will dim down all the website in, except for the elements that were selected by the website owner. So the user is laser focused on what he needs to do, not seeing all the elements. And he goes through all the steps until he finishes the, the process. Um, our target market is uh, we e-commerce websites right now because they have the high rates of tickets, uh, almost double against the average of other industries. And uh, um, also, uh, we are a software as a service company. We charge per site per month um, and on a freemium-based uh, plans. Right now, we have more than 700 signups from um, uh, companies. Um, and uh, the team is made of myself and for others. We are here for having our first round of, of seed funding. Um, and uh, please come by our booth so where can we discuss a little bit further what, what we are here trying to do and we can show a little bit more about the product. Okay, thank you. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Well, for those who are self-employed or have a company like me, um, taxes can be kind of pain, and consultants for taxes can be even worse. So our next startup is here to make our life easier. Please welcome Exacta. Uh, where's it? Taxes are part of our lives and will always be there, even if we want or we don't want to. That's why it's so surprising to check the statistics and see that so much money and information and documents are getting wasted. 95% of the professionals don't know how their business is doing. They even recognize that they don't know, uh, they pay more taxes than they should and even administrative penalties due to the bad day-to-day -day management. How can this happen? They need to solve their problems now and it's even uh, harder to understand taking into consideration the recession that we've gone through. Because until now, there was no application in the market giving a real solution. And the solution lies in something that we all have, the smartphone. And using the camera of the smartphone for taking pictures of the, of the documents and having them all stored. My name is Cristina Paricio, and I'm co-founder and head of international relations of Exacta. Exacta has developed three apps, Exacta Tax for accounting, Exacta Expense for expense reports, and Exacta Home for households. Different targets, but same solution, financial control. I will show you how Exacta Tax works because it's the most revolutionary. The first thing you see when you get in is the first document you captured. You can visualize all the documents there, and you can see the symbol of the tax agency. This means that the document is signed for the tax agency. Uh, Exacta is certified and approved by the Spanish tax agency, so all the documents have this, all the images have the same legal validity as the original documents, so you can get rid of the papers. You can take pictures of the invoices and tickets, and the information is automatically extracted, the accounting is generated, and even the tax models in real time, just tapping the screen. This information can be exported to the main accounting ERPs in the market, and all the information is synchronized, both, both in the device and in the cloud. So, as you can see, the user has all the information in the palm of the hand and can therefore make decisions based on real and updated information. Now, the financial control is 100%. Some of you might think there are other applications in the market doing the same, but actually Exacta is the only one that extracts information, generates accounting, and fills the tax models automatically in real time and with no human intervention. There's no other application in the market doing this at the moment. We count with an experienced team, both IT and tax experts, and also with the support of prices, 
government, investors, and important agreements such as the one with Telefonica and uh, Gestores Administrativos. After two years of development, we reached market in January, and we can now say, proudly say that we are close to break even and going international, Latin America and Europe. The relation with the taxes will be the same, but with exact that will be much smoother. Thank you very much. Thank you. Well done. Great tool. Very useful. All right. So emerging markets are good because they're emerging. But the problem sometimes is with the payments. What happens is our next startup is going to help all the processes from Latin American companies when it comes to payments. Please welcome all Pago. You have the clicker? Perfect. Good morning, my name is Philip Bock. I'm the founder of Alpago, Accept Payments in Latin America. We process, collect, and transfer funds on behalf of our customers. Now, the Latin American market consists of 120 million buyers. It, only, it grows at 15%, and you only need two languages to cover this entire region. So the key question is, what is the challenge to access this market? And let me break that down for you. There are three main challenges. A, product, you need to have access to the local payment methods. B, features, you need to have the technology to process recurring payments, and you need to be able to also collect funds, and you need tax advice. So these are the three main challenges for the market. Now, how do you monetize, and how do, what does it mean exactly for merchants and other payment providers? Now, if you don't have these three features, what happens is that you will only have access to a market as of today to 25 billion US dollars. You're missing out 38 billion. These 38 billion in 2018 translate into 50 billion US dollars that you are missing when you are not local. And this is the key point. Uh, you need to go local. And when you go local, you need to build relationships and maintain these relationships. If you don't do that, you will only have access to 40% to of the market. So 100 buyers on your side, in your shop, only 40 can pay. Now, Alpago has come up with a solution. Imagine it to be an electrical multiplug. Um, this electrical multiplug you only need to in, in, integrate into, and you will have access to exactly these local payment methods that are so relevant for the local buyers. You will also have access to the features. Now imagine recurring technologies, as I said before, or risk management that is very local. And last but not least, if you want to receive the funds, for example, abroad, you also need legal and tax advice. This is a key point. Now, having said that, um, the big advantage is that you have access to this market through only one API, one integration. Um, this gives you access to this entire huge market of 125 million buyers. Um, and the be best thing about it is without any headache. Now, let me present you a little bit, uh, let me tell you a little bit about Alpago. Alpago is live since March 2012. Um, we are now present in 75% of the, of the market in terms of e-commerce volumes. We are 31 team members at Alpago, and the most important message is we did that entirely bootstrapped. We have no investors so far. And now, the best part, the proof of concept. We have upcoming stars such as Abitissimo, who also presented here as customers, but also main global merchants and other payment providers rely on Alpago. We process for Latin America, Symantec, McAfee, Getty Images, and we also have exclusive partnerships such as PayPal. PayPal uses Alpago to remit funds outside of Mexico and Brazil exclusively. So if you think that Alpago is interesting for you, and if you want to grow together with us in the Latin American region, please come and see us at booth 94. Thank you very much for your time. Yes, thank you. Thank you very much. All right, so our next startup is focused on optimizing the media buying process on mobile applications. So please welcome our next startup, Smart Media Smart, sorry, Media Smart. Welcome. Hello. Oui. Uh, Media Smart is a mobile advertising technology company, and we help advertisers reach mobile audiences effectively. 
Now, the mobile advertising ecosystem can be a little confusing, even for the initiated. So uh, let me start by clarifying where we play. So publishers that have uh, a, a advertising inventory work with uh, app tech providers to maximize their yield and make that inventory available in marketplaces. Uh, we are not those providers. We, on the other hand, help advertisers. Our technology allows them to buy advertising in these marketplaces in uh, real time, in a data-driven fashion, and always maximizing engagement uh, with their campaigns. Now, the opportunity is unquestionable. While more than 60% of, uh, of digital engagement uh, happens on mobile devices, only 15% of all advertising budgets for digital go to mobile. So that gap needs to be closed. And we know how it's going to be closed. It's through programmatic advertising. The type of real-time data-driven media buying that MediaSmart enables is becoming the de facto way of buying uh, digital media. And in fact, 62% uh, of all advertising is expected to be transacted this way. Now, why does this gap even exist between audience and investment? Uh, mainly because mobile requires different technology than desktop. And when we started in January 2012, uh, Virtually no one was uh, using programmatic methods in mobile, bringing that mobile and programmatic experience together. We were one of the first ones to do so. We've taken advantage of that uh, first, mover, uh, first mover advantage in the market. Uh, we've developed our own proprietary, proprietary technology, um, sorry, which has been proven in the marketplace and today drives a business um, with 73% of our revenue in 2015 coming from a software as a service uh, model. We've established uh, more than 25 uh, partnerships across the ecosystems that bring uh, unparalleled reach to our customers. And um, with all of the campaigns we've run through this three and a half uh, years, um, we have gathered a user base with more than 200 million uh, profiled uh, users that are invaluable input for our um, algorithms to make the right media buying decisions. Um, we've proven the model is scalable, especially since we launched in early 2014 our software as a service model. We expect to grow 200% uh, in 2015 with uh, most of our growth uh, being international. And we've, uh, we've managed to do so with an incredible group of 15 people that are absolutely dedicated to the cause, uh, with a lot of experience in mobile and uh, advertising, and uh, with a relatively modest investment so far of 2 million euro. Thank you very much. Right on time. Thank you. Well, there is one thing that most of startups and a lot of startups forget when pitching, and is smile. Please smile. Well done. All right, our next startup is going to explain themselves better than I will. So please, next startup, Yodi War. Yes, you can clap. Thank you. And it's. Yeah, on the right. It's... Yeah. Hi, everybody. Thank you for joining us here today. It's a pleasure to be here. Uh, I'm coming from a company called Yodivo, and uh, my name is Per Martensson. Uh, have any of you doesn't hear the name IoT before? Internet of Things. Which actually is devices talking to devices, or devices talking to human beings. And now I should see if I have some problem with this, because it doesn't switch now. The market for new cloud platform that actually support device communication in some way is growing by 50% every year. And all those new companies that want, will go into the IoT market has to develop a platform to be able to have their devices connected so you can speak with them. And this, in average, takes 50 man months. And 15 man months means that you have maybe one year to go to market. Time to market is one year. Let me int introduce you Divo then. We have a codeless platform for actually interacting all the devices with a drag and drop uh, editor that you just can drag your devices out, connected to nearly every other things that's around here right now, like Skype, Facebook, 
other devices as your smart refrigerator, your uh, stove, whatever you like. And you do it within minutes, as you can see in this video, where we actually pad two phones with each other to be able to have them communicate. Uh, the platform also have a good support for actually, actually having interaction between uh, devices in long distances with the cloud uh, folk support. Uh, our business model is, free, is threefolded. Is we have the IC uh, partners and the product manufacturer. Uh, we had a cloud platform that is there today, and we had a, the business processing to actually have data transforming for them. We know our competitors very, very well, and we are staying ahead and know how to stay ahead of them. Uh, the market is today 160 billion euros, and we will take a small portion of them. To, uh, so this year we have going to have a turnover in 1.8 million euros or dollars, you can say whatever you like, nearly. Uh, and it's all black figures in that report. And we estimate to grow about 10% month to month and raise going up to maybe 30 or 40 million dollars within three and a half years. The founding team consists of people that work together for over 10 years in companies like IBM, uh, Citrix, and Samsung, and we have existed for one year. Those are our partners we have today, or customers, which are quite good customers, and we're still growing right now in the customer base. We estimate to raise about 2.5 million euros for uh, having new partners and new sales and marketing in both Europe and the US. Thank you all of you for coming here to listening and if you want to join and see this solution please visit us in boot 92. Thank you Jody Worm. Okay we're coming to the end almost of our startup community and a startup contest but please before we ending I would like to uh, welcome our next startup, which is uh, short-term financing for small businesses. Please welcome Iwoka. Well, Iwoka, yes, oh, they're here, all right. Sorry, they didn't tell me. They didn't tell you, okay, you can clap again. Welcome. Please. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, um, good morning. My name is Isabel and I'm here representing Iwoka, Iwoka, which stands for Instant Working Capital. So, SME lending has been frozen since 2007. As you can see here, there's been a decrease of 60% to lending to SMEs. And this is just a representation of the companies that we target that are 85% of the SMEs in Spain. Uh, data shows that 63% of the small businesses lend to cover working capital needs and cash flow issues. So you can understand what a big decrease means in the impact of the economy. Now, this is just one of our customers' example. Now imagine Jaime. He's got a small business in Valencia where he makes tiles. Now, Jaime has access to online banking. He's got accountancy software. He purchases from online marketplaces, and he, of course, sells uh, tiles online. Now, on top of this, he's got other business data, which is what traditional finance looks like. However, wouldn't it be best if we had a platform, a lending platform, that would look at all of these data points to make fair lending decisions? Iwaka looks at the bigger picture, and we make SME lending a seamless process. All you've got to do is sign up online, which obviously is free, link your business information, get approved, there is no commitment whatsoever, draw funds as you need, when you need them, repay as you need, no cost included, and with repayments, you can top up your loan. So basically, our product is targeted to SMEs so they can include it in their business strategy. It's not a traditional loan, it's a flexible product. Our platform has a proven track record. We were funding in 2012 in the UK 
And since then, we have funded more than 3,000 small businesses. We've had an 197 interannual business growth, of which 95% comes from newly acquired customers. And since 2014, we have launched another three countries. Today, iWoka operates in the UK, in Poland, in Spain, and of course, in Germany. And the most important thing is that of all these countries that we operate in, we've got excellent customer service ratings in an independent platform. This is iWoka's team today. We are 91 people, and of which we've got an international team that has expertise across the most important channels, distribution, risk management, and financing. Now, the first two people that you can see are the two founders, Christophe Rich and James Deere. And the last one is me, um, Isabel. I'm the country manager for Spain, which is why I'm here today. And this is us. Thank you for listening. Thank you, great. So the best thing to do for least learning from customer in order to um, improve the customer experience. And this is something that our next startup is doing very well. Please welcome Mocha Platform. Thank you. Uh, from the beginning? Okay. Okay. Okay, it's the end. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, good morning. My name is Maria Fernanda Gonzalez. I'm the CEO and co-founder of Mocha Platform. Mocha is a software platform that turns any mobile app into a powerful marketing tool. Drive revenue with context-aware mobile marketing. I'm going to show you how. Imagine. You are in a big trade show. You have many things to do, many things to see, people to meet. It's really exciting. But it's really exciting. After a while, you feel overwhelmed or a mm, little lost. And you see your mobile phone, you see the app, and you need help. But it really can help you. Brands are trying to attract you, are trying to attract your attention, and they use the marketing action using um, guessing and trying to use the um, intuition. Sometimes they will be either lucky or wrong. And at the end of the event, you finish with a, with a big uh, five kilos uh, printed ads for your home. For that reason, we constructed Mocha. Mocha is a software platform that learns from the context, time, location, sensors, to segment and analyze behavior of customers and predict behavior. With that information, brands could be connected directly with the customer and can, set, I can send, uh, send them uh, personalized information. And yes, Mocha has proprietary algorithms in the core. The market is growing and is enormous. Events is only an example, but retail, malls, airports are running over Mocha. We have big competitors around the world, globally talking, but from the technological, technological point of view, we built a technology that can solve questions that our, ca our competitors cannot. For that reason, GCMA Mobile World Congress contracted Mocha and selected Mocha for the Mobile World Congress. Mocha turns any mobile app into a powerful marketing tool. Our business model is us, and we grow with customers. We go to market online and via business partners. And this is the moment. This is the moment because today, brands are preparing their budgets for the marketing proximity strategies. We are growing, and we have many brands that are driving a revenue um, with context our mobile marketing using Mocha. We have a great team. We are growing, and we are working hard to grow. 
we need 5 million next year in order to grow globally. Please go to mocaplatform.com and sign up for free. Thank you very much. Great, thank you very much. Our next startup is able to track and analyze your online competitor's strategies in real time. Please give a round of applause to Compita. Thank you very much. Uh, it's actually pronounced Compite. My name is Scott Mackin, and I'm in charge of marketing and communication for Compite. Thank you very much for joining me in this beautiful hallway uh, for the pitch competition. So I'm sure many of us here have tried to sell something online in the last year or so, and we've realized it's incredibly difficult. <clears throat> Essentially, more and more customers are getting smarter online, and we're realizing that they're changing their behavior. Over 81% of customers are doing their research online before they make a buying decision, and 78% of those customers are actually checking social media and having an effect that decision making. So, if our customers are getting smarter about their decision making and research online and researching our competitors, shouldn't we? <clears throat> so, we researched the problem, and what we're, what we're realizing is most companies are going about their competitive intelligence like this. They're clicking around the web, checking social media, checking landing pages, manually checking, changing in pricing. And, uh, you know, but after looking at the problem a little bit further, we realize it looks more like this. Customers have their head in the sand. C our competitors have their head in the sand about what's going on with the competitive landscape. In fact, it looks more like this. Blown up on a global scale, over 120 million companies are selling online, and that number's growing every day. When it comes to business intelligence software and competitive intelligence, we're talking about a $27 billion market with an 8.4% annual growth rate. So we thought, how can we get involved? How can we help? We created Compite, a platform that tracks and analyzes your competitor activity in real time and alerts you to any changes. Our proprietary tracking software technology is basically automating your competitive intelligence and taking it out of your hands. This is really important. If you're in a hyper-competitive market, you need to know when a competitor changes their pricing, has an update to their website, or is offering a promotion. Alternatively, if you're competing on, if you have a niche product or service and you're competing on differentiation, you need to see what your competitors are doing, know, understand their strategy, and basically use their KPIs against them. And that's what, that's what uh, Compite lets you do. So Compite offers an intuitive user experience platform to understand what your competitors are doing in real time. And it's basically a subscription model, so you pay for what you need and nothing else. So far, we've grown our customer base through a combination of inbound and outbound marketing strategies, some guerrilla PR, and partnerships in high places. As you can see, we've been mentioned in some uh, world-leading publications. So how's it working? Since our launch in the US in May of 2015, we've had a 33% month-over-month growth rate. And uh, we have new, new signups joining the, joining the platform every single day. Is there competition? Yeah, we have a healthy competitive landscape. But what we're noticing is most of our clients are piecing together these single function analytical tools like SEM, Rush, or similar web to combine their manual processes. So when we find a market favorite, all we do is put it into the platform and make sure that our customers are, are have that access to it. This is what really sets us apart. Our founding team has been working together for over 10 years, and our expert development team is uh, expert in artificial intelligence, and big data. They're combined with an international business development and marketing team, so we're global from the start. We're not alone either. From concept to our recently closed seed round, we're backed by some expert SaaS advisors and investors, but we're always on the lookout for talented individuals to join our team, investors, and advisors to help us along our journey. <clears throat> Where will we be six to eight months from now? We'll have over 150 paying customers. We'll have our first sales op office operational in the US, and we will be on our way get preparing for our Series A. If you'd like to learn more about Compite, visit us over here at Booth 54, and we'll dig up some, some dirt on your competition. Thank you very much. Thank you. Great.
So, ladies and gentlemen, the last tied up, the very last, but not the least, of our 2015 South Summit competition for startups. Please welcome our next one, Social Tools. They, how to achieve the social marketing objectives in a simple and effective way. Please welcome Social Tools. Good morning, my name is Candelaria. I'm Social Tools CFO. Let me tell you a little story about another entrepreneur. Her name is Karen. Karen is the owner of a baby store in her own town. Now she decided she wants to take her store to the online market. For that, she will have to create her own Facebook um, fan page, Twitter account, Pinterest account, LinkedIn, and G Blast account. Also, she will have to post every day on those social networks. That means that she will be creating around a thousand posts per month, which will take her a lot of time and, of course, a lot of money. Also, Karen will have to be sending emails to all her customers, and, of course, she will have to do Facebook ads, which is far from being an easy task for someone as Karen. However, Companies as Karen's have spent during 2015 and only in the United States more than $11 billion in marketing strategies. That's why we've created Social Tools. Social Tools is a social media platform with four power solutions. With Social Tools, users can create contests and promotions so to engage their fans and to generate leads. Also, through social tools, the users can schedule their posts so to simplify their life. With our platform, they can send emails. And last but not least, we can tell them which were the posts that performed the most so for them to target and do Facebook ads with only one click and to the right audience. During the last 36 months, Social Tunes revenue has been growing in a 15% per month. That means we have been growing fast, but we want to go further. That's why four months ago, our company acquired Postcron. Postcron allowed Social Tools to reach the US market. Nowadays, our company has more than 2 million social accounts in 170 different countries. We have already been invested by WIDA and by 500 startups and an angel investor. Now we're looking for our Series A, so to get into the US market. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that was it. That was our competition of the startup for this South Summit 2015. I would like to thank you, everyone who has joined us today. I would like to thank the organizers and as well the people who is on the YouTube on the other side, also our jury. And well, I'm Javier Coves. Thank you very much, and I hope to see you here next year. Bye bye.